Game Quickie. So if you ever started playing that classic game Kung Fu for the NES and thought to yourself, I would really like to see a game mostly like this, but with some better graphics, more detailed levels, and a kid with super kicks, and a jump that puts Mario to shame? No? You haven't? Well anyway, there is such a game, and it's called Kung Fu Kid for the Sega Master System. Now when I say it's mostly like that Kung Fu game for the NES, I mean that if you just walk from one side of the screen to the other, kicking the enemies that come your way, some of which hold their arms up and try to hug you to drain your health, it does hold a strong resemblance. But playing the game like that isn't really what you should be doing. The Kung Fu Kid, or Wang, yeah, Wang. I'll pause for a moment for you to giggle to whatever joke may have popped in your head. Okay, we good? Cool. Wang can't punch, but he can kick, throw some magic talismans, and jump really, really high. Wang can also do double jumps from the wall, which can help you find shortcuts and levels, as well as get away from enemies and get to the normal paths you need to take. The talismans at first are thrown and knock your most basic enemies away. You'll later upgrade these to the super talismans and then become more powerful and get rid of all enemies, outside of bosses, in one hit, with a spiffy explosion sound too. Each level is basically the same idea, though new enemies are introduced each time. Level 1 is the most basic, having you just walk to the right until you get to the boss. Level 2 adds a second tier to jump on. 3 and 5 have you traversing from bottom to the top and then down again, while 4 is just acting like level 1, but with some water to fall on your head and a new enemy. 6 isn't like the other levels though, and instead you have to fight 5 bosses in a row, and if you die you have to start back at the first fight. Level 7 is the final level, and besides the cool lightning effects, it's pretty much just like a walk to the final boss. There is a time limit for each of these levels, so you don't just hang out in one spot for too long. Speaking of bosses, there isn't much to them really. Most of them just need the right touch to keep them from hitting you each time you hit them. Some time jumps usually do the trick well. You just have to find the right pattern for each one. Except for the giant toad one called Garopa. What a weak boss. But some of the ones can be kind of tricky like Chu Ho, who charges with a sword and can switch around to cut you pretty quickly. Rong Wang, what is with this game in Wang? This crazy old jumping man can be pretty annoying too. He pretty much has your exact moves. The enemies though don't really matter much. When they clutter around you it can be an issue but still there's nothing to them. They work like most games of this type do. The sheer number of them is where the problem lies. Just standing around and trying to kick them all just makes them respawn and you'll be stuck. But trying to just skip them all will get you hit a few times in a hectic fray. Though these weird zombie ones are actually a big annoyance because after you kick them twice and knock them down, they still hurt you and they eventually get back up. The game is no award winner, but for some quick fun arcade style, it's a fun game and makes improvements on games like it from before and after. It has some nice stuff for a game made in 1987. Sure, some of the bosses are pushovers and the enemies tend to be more of annoyance than a true threat and Wang can walk really really slowly so you have to jump more than anything else but the gameplay is fun with Wang's awesome jumps and kicks. The music and tones are pretty nice too. Plus even though the final boss is kind of a pushover, seems familiar, the game does try and give you an actual ending. It definitely won't hurt to add it to your SMS collection if you come across it. I'll see you next time.